Hey, it's me, Dr. G. The novel coronavirus, COVID-19, has plunged the world into uncertainty and the constant news about the pandemic can feel relentless. When forced to completely uproot our lives, the toll on people's mental health can be unbearable. Tens of millions of Americans are adhering to social distancing measures in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. For many, this seems rather intuitive and easy to follow, but for others, not quite so much. How do we cope with social distancing guidelines while protecting our mental well-being? We have to talk about this and more. Join me tomorrow night for a special broadcast of To Your Health with Dr. G at a special time of 8 p.m. Central Standard Time and live on Facebook as I discuss coping strategies in the age of social distancing. I will be interviewing my longtime friend and colleague, acclaimed artist and speaker, Todd Fink, CADC. He also serves as a certified alcohol and drug counselor at Linden Oaks Behavioral Health. You can read more about Todd by visiting his website at www.michaeltodfink.com or at www.thegivingtreeband.com. Social distancing means keeping people separated and offers the best mitigation strategy we have to slow the spread of this virus. Ideally, we would all be doing this, but some of us are not for varying reasons. Some are working on the front lines and unable to stay home. Still others who are available and otherwise able to comply with this directive are choosing to ignore it. Thus, it is critical to talk about this and understand what society stands to gain if we all do our part. We are being directed to check our individual egos at the door to support the greater good and therefore overcome the unimaginable impacts this virus has had on our lives. As a hashtag lifestyle medicine physician, I believe the following principles hold true and will offer some measures of mental and emotional stability during this unprecedented time in our lives. Number one, limit your news consumption and be careful of what you read. Keeping up with the news is important and shows that we are responsible citizens. At the same time, reading lots of news about COVID-19 has led to panic attacks in many people. If the news is impacting you in this manner, Give yourself permission to take a break or decide on a specific time of day to check in with the news rather than checking for updates constantly. Number two, avoid misinformation. Stay informed by sticking to trusted resources. Take breaks from social media and mute things which are triggering negative emotions. Mute keywords or hide social media posts across various platforms that serve as triggers. Unfollow specific accounts altogether if you find them too overwhelming. Number three, wash your hands frequently but not excessively. For some, it may be hard to balance hand washing to reduce the risk of spreading the virus versus doing it rather ritualistically, which in itself could exacerbate anxiety or obsessive tendencies. Number four, stay connected with people in non-physical ways and stay connected with yourself. Be sure to stay in contact from afar with the people you care most about. You can easily agree to regular check-in times with friends and family to feel connection. Take advantage of technology platforms during this time of self-isolation. Additionally, establish a routine and make sure each day has some variety to it. Get caught up on the things you have been meaning to do improve or try such as exercise nutrition household hobbies reading books and sleep you can still maintain a sense of normalcy productivity and internal peace during these times this can be done within your home or immediate vicinity this does not mean it is okay to venture far from home to meet up with others or find a distant nature trail to hike on lastly number five avoid burnout Realize that we still have many weeks and months ahead of us during the COVID-19 pandemic. This disease burden will not go away in the short term, but I do absolutely believe we will see decreased disease impact in the long term. Practice mindfulness, pause to breathe, and maintain optimism for the foreseeable future. Peace out.